Hello dear students. Welcome to Chem Class Academy. Today I am going to discuss about types of chemical compounds. It is types of chemical compounds. First you see compounds. The compound is extract from matter. So you know about matter. Matter is anything in this universe that is have some mass and occupied by space is called matter. Now the matter is classified into two types. The first the compound is extract from matter. And the matter is is classified into two types. The matter is mainly classified into two types. It is mixture and pure substance. Substance and uh, pure substance is also classified into two types. It is element and uh, compound. Element and uh, compound. So the element is is a chemical substance element is a chemical substance it is made from made from same type of same types of atoms same type of atoms the element is a chemical substance it is made from same type of atoms and compound the compound is a substance substance it is made from two or more different two or more different elements elements that have that have been chemically joined chemically joined it is known as known as compound so the compound is a substance it is made from two or more two or more different elements that have been chemically joined is known as compound it is chemically joined two or more different elements combine together to give compounds for example water table salt and table sugar table sugar and uh, chalk sodium bicarbonate and uh, sodium carbonate etc it is examples of compounds then the compounds on the base of source it is two types 
the chemical compounds on the base of source it is two types that is organic compound and inorganic compound see here the compounds the compounds on the base of source on the base of source it is two types two types it is two types one organic compounds and the second one is inorganic compounds so the compounds is on the base of source it is two types it is two types so one is organic compound and another one is inorganic compounds on the base of source the base of source and also and also two theories explain about to inorganic and organic compounds on the base of availability actually the compound is on the base of source it is two type organic and inorganic compounds and it is also explained two theories explained about to organic and inorganic compounds on the base of availability on the base of availability organic and inorganic compounds two theories explained about to organic and inorganic compounds on the base of availability and also two theories to to theories explained explained about organic compounds and inorganic compounds on the basis of availability the basis of availability that is old theory and modern modern chemistry theory modern chemistry theory so here on the base of source the compound the compound on the base of source it is organic compounds and inorganic compounds it is two types organic compounds and inorganic compounds and also two theories explained about organic and inorganic compounds on the base of on the base of availability so it is old theory and modern chemistry theory on the base of availability it is old theory and modern chemistry theory these two theories explained about organic compounds and inorganic compounds on the base of availability it is natural source or man made or synthesized see two theories about organic and inorganic compounds so two theories explain about organic and inorganic compounds on the base of availability the before the compound on the base of source the compound is two type that is organic and inorganic compounds these compounds 
on the basis of availability it is explained to theories it is explained to to theories on the basis of availability so that is the first one is old theory old theory and second one is modern chemistry theory modern chemistry theory see here according to old theory according to old theory old theory on the basis of natural source on the basis of natural source and uh, the modern chemistry theory according to modern chemistry theory chemistry theory organic and inorganic compounds on the basis of man made or synthesized in lab so it is different the organic compounds and inorganic compounds the whole theory explained according to on the basis of natural source so the whole theory explained about organic inorganic compounds these two compounds it's available in naturally on the source of natural see here the organic compounds the organic compounds are those compounds those compounds which obtained which obtained from living organisms living organism this plant and animal kingdom kingdom and inorganic compounds the inorganic compounds inorganic compounds are the inorganic compounds are those compounds those compounds which obtained from which obtained from earth crust earth crust by mining mining so see here according to old theory organic compound inorganic compounds are on the basis of natural source so organic compounds and inorganic compounds it is available naturally so living organisms the organic compounds are available in living organisms and inorganic compounds present in the presenting earth crust by mining so organic compounds presenting living organisms and inorganic compounds presenting earth crust so it is naturally it is naturally it is available in naturally living organic compounds are in living living organisms and inorganic compounds in earth crust by mining so it is 
naturally the whole theory is explained about organic and inorganic compounds on the base of natural source on the base of natural source next then modern chemistry theory so the modern chemistry theory it is explained about organic and inorganic compounds on the base of man made or synthesized in lab so synthesized in lab so see the organic compounds organic compounds are those compounds those compounds which contain contain carbon hydrogen and their derivatives they derivatives is called organic compound and next inorganic compounds according to modern chemistry theory the inorganic compounds are those compounds ones are those compounds compounds which do not which do not contain contain carbon except except carbonates bicarbonates oxides carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and cyanides except these carbonates and bicarbonates oxides and cyanides remaining all are inorganic compounds so without carbon so for example h2so4 sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate and acl like etc it is a inorganic compounds so <clears throat> the modern chemistry theory it is explained about organic chem, chem organic compounds and inorganic compounds it is man made or synthesized in lab so it is the organic compounds are those compounds which contain carbon hydrogen and they they would is called organic compounds and inorganic compounds are those compounds which do not contain carbon except carbonates bicarbonates oxides and cyanides it is after means the friedrich holder the scientist 1828 1828 in the year of 1828 the friedrich holder one organic compound synthesized in lab one organic compound prepared in lab so in this theory whole theory the organic compounds only living organism only living organisms so echo vft vital force theory the vital force theory explained by organic compounds <coughs> these organic compounds produce under the influence of hysteria force existing living organisms and also this organic compounds is very difficult to synthesize in lab according to vital force theory so the whole theory and uh, modern chemistry theory the whole theory organic and inorganic compounds available naturally and modern chemistry theory organic compounds inorganic compounds synthesized in lab so the modern chemistry theory explained the organic compounds inorganic compounds synthesized in lab and the whole theory it is explained organic compounds inorganic compounds is available in naturally the organic compounds in living organisms 
and inorganic compounds in earth crust. So, the modern chemistry theory, another point is also explained, the modern chemistry theory. The organic compounds and inorganic compounds not only present in living organisms and earth crust, it is also synthesized in lab. The organic compounds, inorganic compounds is also synthesized in lab. So, it is explained whole theory and modern chemistry theory. In this topic, the compound is extracted from matter. The matter is classified into two types that is mixture and pure substance. The pure substance is again classified into elements and compounds. And the compounds on the base of source it is two types that is organic compounds and inorganic compounds. And also two theories explained about organic compounds and inorganic compounds on the base of availability. So according to old theory the organic compound and inorganic compound on the base of natural source and the modern chemistry theory the organic compounds and inorganic compounds on the base of man-made or synthesized in lab. It is types of chemical compounds. Please subscribe my channel Chem Class Academy. You will get new classes in the form of notifications. Thank you. Thank you very much.